back of my throat is swollen. I don't know why. Okay, I got your water. She thirsty. Water. It's upside down. So, good. it's Friday, right? Like I said, the back of my throat and like the soft pallidiness, you know where your uvula is, is, is swollen. One moment. You're welcome. Scratch the floor. Why do cats do that? Hi, kitty. Why do they do that? So, like, I don't feel sick. I think I just slept with my mouth open and it got irritated or something. But usually when you sleep with your mouth open, it's like... Oh yeah, you can tell my throat is a bit swollen in the back and I got the nasals, the post nasal drips. Beautiful. All right, so Friday, 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 Friday. Fire truck. Fire truck. Um, I got no words. It's Friday, and I'm gonna go downstairs and get ready for work. So I'll talk to you later. So now I'm starting to feel like duty. My face is getting warm, and um, my throat does not feel nice. It's not scratchy. It's just like swollen. You know, like that. All right, let's feed the tortoise and make some eggs. What is happening over here? love that for me. All right, but I do have to get back to work. I did not get better. In fact, I feel like poo-poo. My body is achy. My skin is warm to touch. Do I have the flu? Probably. I don't know. Or the starting of it anyway. And I started my period. So great. It's good for me. The next three days are going to be fantastic. Sarcasm, in case you couldn't tell. I'm gonna take a nap. See you in a number of hours. Six hours later. So, Disney, way back in the days, and I don't know if they still do it, they would make direct to DVD movies. Like, for example, I just finished watching Hunchback in Notre Dame. There's a second one. And the quality of the second one is garbage compared to the first one. It is not good quality. Like, drawing-wise, art-wise. Anyway, I'll be watching this second one. Okay. I'm sure it'll be dumb, but I'm going to watch it and... I took a nap for like an hour and a half. Um, then my phone was ringing and it was some like, uh, what do you call it? Not ad, the people you don't want. Um, telemarketer or something like that. Anyways, couldn't understand them. It sounded like they're in a room full of people and they still, they spoke English, but it was not good. I mean, it was just garbage quality on their phones. The phone itself hung up, so I'm like, hello? And then he's and then it hung up. I didn't have to hang up on him. Anyways, uh, 
Welcome to Magnum Drama. To <clears throat> hello, I am feeling better. Uh, I slept, 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 slept quite a bit. Um, so whatever I had, it's all still a little tender, but not, not too bad. Um, hopefully better tomorrow. We watched, as many did, on Netflix, the Netflix live event, first of its kind, was the uh, Logan Paul, Mike Tyson boxing match. Um, they had some people pre pre cards before you. What do they call them? They had some people before them. They had one. Uh, girls fight boxing match but no I find that in a lot of toe to toe events MMA boxing that kind of stuff the women put on a better show not really a show a fight better fight than than the men they they're just more entertaining more blow to blow shots um just more action. They're more entertaining. I like them more. Anyway, they scored it wrong though. Uh, it was like Katie, Kate something, and the other girl, and the Kate girl won, and I, nobody believed. <laughs> nobody thought she should win because she, she had butted, had butted the one girl. Made her eyebrow like split right here, and oh, she kept dirty, dirty fighting, and uh, she won. Everyone else was like thinking Did she, the other girl was gonna win, and for some reason that cake girl won. Nobody believed. Nobody, uh, nobody thought that was good, or um, right. Nobody thought that was right. Then the main card, Jake Paul, uh, Mike Tyson. Oh, oh my eye. Um, I fell asleep during most of it, but from what I saw, it was a good fight. Uh, the first two rounds, Jake Paul or Mike Tyson won, and the next. How many rounds did they go? Twelve? I think they went twelve rounds. Full twelve rounds. Maybe they went ten rounds. I don't know. But anyway, two out of however many Mike Tyson won. The first two. And the rest, Jake Paul was scored um, high at nine or ten. And Mike was scored one. But he was very respectful. Unlike some fighters, like, you know, Conor McGregor, are not very respectful. Um, Jake Paul is pretty respectful, so props to him for being respectful to a legend. But here's the thing, Jake Paul, you fought somebody twice your age. Twice your age. And he went all the rounds. I, you know, respect for Mike Tyson. Keeping it up with somebody half your age. And good job. I'm just, it's obviously something I would never be able to do. Because I don't fight. I don't know what's happening. Just give me a second. Okay. I don't fight, obviously. I'm not a boxer or an athlete of any kind. Um, yeah, so that was a good fight. I enjoyed. I'm not I don't really like boxing. I prefer if I'm gonna watch a toe-to-toe -to -toe sport, it's gonna be MMA. But regardless, it's like one something or other in the morning. I was falling asleep on the couch. But I finally got up. Oh my god, I had such bad cramps during the fight. 
But Russ was so sweet. He let me lay on him. Not let me. He wanted me to lay on him so I could relax, put my feet up. Here's my heating pad. And yes, well, I mean, obviously, he's my husband. And he loves me. All right, well, I'm going to bed now. So I hope you have a grand old evening. We will talk tomorrow. Tomorrow will be Saturday. So have yourself a great night. Toodles.